Hello, everyone, right? Okay, chop. Yep. Okay, when, to count us in, mister. Okay, one, two, three. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you here. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm afraid to say that this kitty still has not had any kittens. She keeps eating and her tummy keeps getting bigger. So we know those kittens are going to be big and strong when they come. Now, today we've got some videos for you from the Playbus team. And we're going to be showing you some different ideas for things to do with beautiful tubes. Got a very long one here. So I'll hand over to them now. Enjoy. This activity is really nice for practicing some hand-eye coordination. Uh, lots of children have a sort of posting, pouring schema when they're toddlers, so it's a nice way to make use of that. Some children will just love this and spend hours playing. Some will love it one week and not another one. So, um, it does make a bit of a mess sometimes, so that might be something that your child enjoys being involved in too. Doing some sweeping up really nice uh, fine motor skills and using both hands at once. And I just put a cloth in the bottom of my my catching tray here because I found that having something soft in the bottom stops them bouncing around my kitchen quite so much. So I hope you enjoy. I really would love to see if you make something like this in your own house. See you later. What have you got there, Sophia? Pasta. Pasta and some chickpeas. Chickpeas. Are you filling up your cup? Yes. Is it full? Yes. Are you going to show us what you do with it? Yes. Ready, steady, go. Listen to that sound. Ready? Push! Hi there. I've used some toilet roll tubes along my floor to make a little race. You have to go one side, the other side, one side, the other side, round the end one, pick up the fruit from the bowl, back again, in, out, in, out, and put it in the bowl. Yeah. Now, if you have a bit more space, you can go in and out, crawling. And if you have even more space, you could find a space where two people could go side to side and you could race. Yay. Hi. I thought we'd uh, I'd try and make two things. One would be uh, a bracelet for your arm. So I've cut the toilet roll up the middle and I'll then put it on my arm. Of course it doesn't look very fancy. So I've cut some silver foil pieces, a long rectangle strip, got a square circle, I'll probably cut up a star and maybe 
decorate it with felt tip drawings and I'll come back to that later and we'll see what we've made. I'm sure your examples will be better. I've also got a rocket to make, which hopefully little Sam Mantha can fly away in. So I've cut up two pieces of cardboard like that. I've done a slit down that way from bottom up halfway and a slit from the top down. And if they fit together, you've got the bottom of the rocket. I've then got another toilet roll and can you see those little slits I've cut? So that will join into there. Oh, here we go. How do you like that? ready to sing zoom 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 I've got the moon ready and waiting I've got my rocket ready to go and I've got my kit on I've got my hat and my bracelet as an astronaut so shall we go zoom 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 we're going to the moon zoom 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 we'll get there very soon five four Three, two, one, blast off! Hi, I have another suggestion for something to do with a toilet roll tube here. This one I've covered in some colourful paper and some sellotape, and then I've covered each end of the sellotape and I've cut my old lentils and pasta inside. This can be a nice toy for different ages of children, but it's particularly good for babies who are enjoying tummy time, because it can be quite fun to notice it making a noise, to see the different ways it moves. You can even make a few of different colours and weights and sounds and see which one your baby enjoys playing with the most. <laughs> Something else you can do with cardboard tubes is make some binoculars to see what you can see. Alex made some binoculars this week and she's going on an adventure. She's going to do our story for us today and it's called Walking in the Jungle. Get ready! Walking through the jungle. What can you see? Can you hear a noise? What can it be? Over there, a snake looking for his tea. Quick. 
creeping through the jungle. What can you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Over there, a tiger looking for his tea. Running through the jungle. What can you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? There, an elephant looking for his tea. Leaping through the jungle. What can you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Over there, a lion looking for his tea. Swinging through the jungle, what can you see? Can you hear a noise? What can it be? Over there, a monkey looking for his tea. Jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Over there, a crocodile looking for his tea. Hope it isn't me. Hi, I hope you enjoyed those videos. There's some lovely ideas there, hey? So, although my cat hasn't got her kittens this week, I thought you'd like to see how much bigger those little seedlings have got. Wow, I had to even put them in new pots because they're so big now. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you keep getting bigger and bigger and having a lovely time playing. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye. Two, three. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, we'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone, see you soon, bye.